Great team win, great road, road win against a very talented opponent. I thought our guys were locked in. I, mean, I think they've been locked in the last you know, three weeks, in my opinion. But I thought the guys had a tremendous amount of focus and did a great job paying attention to detail and scouting reports. Uh, just a good effort from top to bottom. But we didn't do a very good job in taking care of the ball. We were turning it over. Thought we were casual with our catches. Even to start the game, we start the game with a turnover. So got to clean that area up. It's that's one of our best areas as far as taking care of the ball. But for the most part, a great team effort on both sides of the ball. A lot to be excited about, I guess. Kind of where did it, in your opinion, what was the biggest difference kind of right after the Mets and like the guards were making their shots? Stokes was, was aggressive and assertive. Like you wanted, what, was the, what was the thing that kind of got you guys rolling early? Well, I think here? the biggest thing, when our, when our big guys are, are very aggressive, and my gauge is always with John Neal and Jerron aggressive and assertive. Whether they're making shots or not, as long as they're aggressive and attacking more rebound and putting pressure on the defense that way, I think we're in good shape. Now when our guards are making shots, I just think we're a tough team to go against because now you have the perimeter and the inside going hand in hand. Then when Joe Nell shooting free throws the way he's shooting, we shoot 80% as a team. If we get five, which I think across the board, now you're talking about a lot of weapons. And now the spacing is better because we make shots and the guys are scoring around the rim. With, with Jordan, I mean, scoring with you know, six or seven, three for three, also has five assists. I think his assists are at least five in the past three games. Kind of what is, is he playing as well right now all around as, as he has? Well, I think he's doing a good job. He's also doing a better job of defending. He's gotten to a point where I used to know when this man scores when he has a lot of breakdowns. I don't see that anymore. He's doing a great job of taking pride in defending, accepting challenges, depending on who he's guarding. So that part has been good to see. But he's a good basketball player. He knows how to score. He understands the game. He understands the pace of the game, where the ball needs to go. But also wants to continue to stay aggressive. You know, I think he had 19 points tonight. He needs to stay aggressive. You played an interesting lineup early. Got to get Reese in there, DeMontre, and Pops. Kind of what was the thought process behind that? Well, you know, it's strange. I, I just think uh, I felt like in the preseason, while Pops was learning things, I, I still felt like he would be able to play in league play. Because what happens in league play, you know, opponents are more so than in, in pre-conference play because you, you see them on film there's so many unknowns when you're going against teams outside of scouting but I think in league play you're familiar with your opponent you know when the coach is making subs who's going in the game and some of those guys you recruited so you got a feel and I felt like Pops would be able to play doing league play as opposed to the preseason he got out there and it wasn't by mistake it was by design to get him out there Derek has earned minutes so I don't think he had a great night tonight but he's earned those minutes as well as the mantra is it something that they're just earning minutes ahead of Ahead of AJ, or is that more of kind of the, because of their size? Or what, what went into I think AJ so with, with AJ in this case, just the experience of those guys. Then what happens? You get a flow, you get a rhythm. Those guys out there, you want to roll with it. You know? Not necessarily anything that AJ didn't do, but it's just the experience of those guys. And I think between AJ and Derek, Derek has gotten a lot now as far as rebounding the way he's been playing. Um, I think AJ's fine. If you if you have one good uh, three point shooting night, you know you could say, well, where did that come from? But it's like. Night after night, now you all are shooting the ball really well from three. What's what's well? I, I think before the season, when I mean, when you shoot, when you shoot between 25, 25, 000, 30, 000 shots in the summer, two months, you have to get better at shooting. And then I thought we were a pretty good shooting team going into the season, but we didn't shoot as well as well early in the season in those preseason games and pre-conference games. But the guy that's shooting the ball a lot better now. We're spending time with it in practice. Because this time we usually you don't know, practice three hours and it's you know it's two hours max, an hour and a half. So you gotta get the skill work in individual time so guys have opportunity to come in and work with you. And then what shooting is really confidence and rhythm. You guys want